So, how do you edit styles of individual zones on individual cards? This is a little bit of an advanced feature, but um, it's pretty easy to know to use once you know how. So, I've got a group of cards here. Um, let's and just remember, all these cards are looking at our layout, and they're using that those styles of that layout that we created, so that they know how to look. Now, these zones on the cards here, like this title zone, or say the knight's title zone here, it has some handy styles here, like bold, italics, underline, that kind of thing. But what would happen if we wanted to actually edit other styles of that zone? Well, there's a handy feature in that we can press this little uh, paintbrush icon here, and that will actually open up a hidden column. Now you only need to use this um, these special styles if you want this title to not be the same on every card. Usually you do want it to be the same on every card. But but for example, maybe you had some boss creatures, and let's say you wanted the boss creatures to have a red colored um, text instead of this brown. So what you can do there is now in this style column. So I'm here, I'm editing the knight card. This is going to be an overriding style. So the cards are looking at our normal style of our layout, but this particular card, the knight card, is now going to have an overriding style. And so I do a curly bracket like that, and then color, colon, and then you could put an RGB value here, or you could just go red, for example, and then closing bracket. And you can see there, that this um, night card, it's saying, instead of looking at the normal style color, which is this brown, this brown one here, actually use this um, just for this zone. So if, if I wanted to copy this into other zones, you can see that you can make, you know, other ones red, or, you know, you can, you can change it per card, obviously. So you can go blue, for example. Um, that's all well and good if you know CSS or you know the values, but if you don't want to muck around with that, you can actually just click this here and it will take you back to the styles here, like what you saw in the layout editor. Um, so here we can actually just, just remember here, we're not editing the whole card. We're just editing this one zone here on this one particular card. So I can select these different colors here and I'm going to get um, different results. And if I click back here, you'll actually see that Dextrous has put the right RGB a value there into that field. So if you don't know, if you want to achieve something and you don't know the correct code, this is a great way to just um, to see what that might be. So let's say we wanted this particular card, we want it to be red and we want it to be um, you know, aligned left, for example, and bolded. You can do this and you'll see here, um, it's actually put a few different styles here. So we've got text align left, we've got we've changed the color, and we've also changed the font weight to bold. Of course, changing the font weight to bold here is actually the same thing. So if I just get rid of that, and I go back over here, and I click bold, that's actually the same thing. So that's a shared style, if you like. But accessing this will let you access all the different styles. And this works the same for images as well. So let's say I go to this night image, and let's say, um, for example, I on the boss cards for some for some reason I don't want to see um, this scroll down the bottom here. So I can navigate to this scroll. So where is it? It's the description here. So it'll be this one, and I'll open up a style column, and I will say I'll open this up, and I'll jump over to effects, and I'll turn the opacity. Um, down. So I'll just actually get rid of that scroll altogether. Actually, what I'm doing there is I'm just get rid of, getting rid of the text because the because the scroll is a different zone that is not even in the table. So there you go. So that's how you do that. Um, so yeah, you can just remove the zone entirely so that it's invisible if you wanted, and you can do that on a per card basis. So the quick way of doing that, if we go back to the title here, is um, let me just get rid of this stuff. So if I get rid of that, it'll just revert to whatever the default was. So if I go opacity, opacity, colon, zero, I'll just get rid of it. So if, for example, I want to toggle zone visibility on or off, um, you can do that um, just using opacity. Um, 
Yeah, uh, the only and, and and you can do that the other way too. So let's say, for example, I want this special zone to be off by default, like not visible, and then only visible on certain cards. So how would that look? Let's try it. So let's say um, let's edit layout. So click this over here. Now let's say there's a special zone here, and I'll call this you know nine. And I'll just dial up this text size a little bit, make it really nice and small in the corner. So this maybe actually let's like maybe it's B for boss or something like that. It's a special thing that I don't want to be available most of the time. I'll call this you know um, boss symbol or something like that. Um, and by default, I'll actually toggle it to be opacity zero. There's a now shortcut you can just do that, and that will actually set it to zero or fully on or fully off. But, you know, you, obviously you can go in between if you want. Um, but let's say I want to make it um, not visible by default. And there's a little icon over here to show you that that's not visible by default. You can toggle it here as well. So that's nice. Let's just save and close. And I'll find, you, by the way, you can collapse these style columns if you don't want to look at them anymore, which is often going to be the case. You can just get rid of that, um, tuck it away again. So I'll tuck these away, and now I'm going to um, jump on over to my, I'll get my own head out of the way here, um, to this boss symbol. Now let's say for our boss card, which is our knight card, so that's down here, um, we do want to see that. So I'll open up a star column, and I will go opacity, colon, one, bracket, and that should bring that in. Is it doing it? No. Hmm, what's going on there? Uh, let me have a look. Oh, I've put it in the wrong thing, of course. I have. I've put it in the actual. So that's actually, yeah, so that text will now be in in the boss symbol itself. So if I turn it on and doesn't know what to do with it. Doesn't know what to do with it. That's interesting. Oh, because it's trying. Okay. There's actually in a text zone, it's trying to um, put an inline image in, for example. So if I just get rid of these brackets now, yeah, or just one bracket, it'll have opacity one there. So if I have, you know, E for boss or something like that. So this could be a zone that you turn on and off um, depending on what card it is. So yeah, so that's how you would do that. Um, there's lots more you can do. So obviously you get all the styles there that you can change things around a lot. But just one little um, word of wisdom here. If you're going to make the cards be super different, you're almost better off just creating another layout and another component and making that boss creatures. Um, but, you know, if you just want to change just one or two things or, you know, change the background color, change the border color, something like that, just having the extra styles here is a really good way to do that. Cool.